Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. The main event here. Sorry for the delay in the uploads. Um, with Reg F pretty much dying and then like Reg G being so far away, I didn't want to use like all my ideas right away, so I just took a bit of a break. But we back with it. We're gonna be talking about Reg G support mod. So question of the day: Which support mod will find a role in Reg G? Um, we're gonna rapid fire through like the common ones, like Incident and Rillaboom stuff, and then we're gonna get to real meat and potatoes. Let me go ahead and start this up. Obviously, Incineroar will still be good. The Intimidate will be great. Protect, Parting Shot, I mean, <laughs> Protect. Fake Out, Parting Shot, Knock Off, Snarl. It's typing to resist both Calyrexes. Um, can be EV'd with certain items to live just about every single hit in the game. Will be great. Great Privet, great board control. Rillaboom grants you some of the same things as Incineroar, but where it doesn't give you Intimidate, gives you Terrain. And terrain might be really important because of electric rain being a thing, size fan being a thing. So you're gonna have to probably have something to, to cover for that. Amoongus is good, always will be good, always has been good, will never fall out of favor ever in life. Tornadus is still your best tailwind setter. Um, I know Whimsicott has some uses, but Tornadus is just kind of just flat out better. Uh, and Didi, again, gives you terrain control, gives you redirection support, uh, normal type to resist the Calyrex Shadow stuff. Um, also resist, uh, resist the, the the collision course from Coridon. So that's also good. For Giraffe, another priority blocker, uh, normal type that resists ghosts or immune to ghosts. So now we get to the meat and potatoes. So here we have these three fighting types kind of grouped up. Uh, Mian Shao, uh, hit my top and Toxic Pro. So we're gonna start with Mian Shao. Uh, Mian Shao is always great in Restrictors in my opinion. Um, one, because in Restricted Pokemon formats, Incineroar tends to even climb in usage because it's so good into all the Restricteds. Uh, so Mian Shao is really good into Incineroar. Um, it's inner focus, so it can't be faked out. It can fake out the Incineroar. In a lot of situations, it can close combat KO it if you need to. Um, but it also gets like Wygar, which is a really, really important move on Restricted. Uh, it's, it's kind of an important move for a lot of teams to have. If you don't have a way to resist the damage from certain spread attacks, you have to have a way, have a way to block them. And Wygar is good for that. It also has like coaching. Um, so if you have like a physical attacker, you can not get faked out. And coaching goes through protect, so you can protect and coach. Um, you can uh, fake out and set up. You can do a lot of things. Uh, gets taunts to stop like opposing um, status moves like maybe Spore or Trick Room. Uh, it also gets faint, which is kind of busted. I think Inner Focus faint is like way too strong to, in my own in my own opinion because you can't even like fake out the faint. At the very least, right? If um if you had to worry about getting faked out, like if fake out went before faint and didn't have Inner Focus, you could just fake this Pokemon out and make them play fake out and not get the faint. Uh, but getting the faint and then breaking the protect or breaking like wide guards and stuff and not being able to essentially stop it is way way too broken that's why you kind of need priority blocking right <laughs> so you can protect your protects <laughs> um but yeah really fast 105 speed 125 attack and nothing to sneeze at um does it get knockoff also i can't remember it doesn't get knockoff so you have options for this pokemon um terror types probably don't really matter that much because you, you this is if you're tearing your mian Shao, um you've made a mistake so you <laughs> pick a terror run with it but you've probably made a mistake uh hit on top is gonna be next uh, Hitman Top offers you some similar things to Manchow, Faint, Coaching, Fake Out, Wide Guard, but it does all these things while also giving you Intimidate, which is nice. Obviously, like, you're probably going to default to, like, Incinero, but there are just certain situations where, like, these may fit your team better, may. Um, like I said, having the Intimidate and the Wide Guard might be something that you need, right? Like, say your team needs both, but you don't have room for both, and say you have the Incinero, um, you can replace it with this, and then you also have the Wide Guard as well. That's, like I said, that's if your team needs it. It's very, very specific very very kind of like niche but if your team needs to have both like let's say you uh because they could have this right you'll have the fake out in the wide guard but then you won't have the intimidate and with this you have to fake out the wide guard and the intimidate it just won't be an incinerator toxic is actually really good and restricted in my opinion um i think what makes it really good is the dry skin ability um one it gives you a really good matchup into like kyogre uh, which is obviously going to be strong. We we know we've been people been talking about it, and it's not going to be like garbage like people think it's going to be. I had it like in B tier. I think it's going to be just fine. Uh, but dry skin gives you a good matchup into that. Also, it's good on Kyogre teams. I've been using it on one uh, because you get healed in the rain. I um, mean, stats are not like that great, but you can wear an assault vest, which is what I've been using on it to buff the special defense stat. You can uh, invest in your defense if you need to. Uh, 85 is not a bad speed tier for fake out users. Um, you get fake out, you get low kick, which gives you more power the heavier the target. All the restrictors are very, very heavy. You get foul play, which does damage according to the attack stat. Um, it gets other dark type moves as well. It also gets faint. Um, obviously, it gets like poison moves, like poison jab to hit Rillaboom. It also gets like gunk shot. It gets gunk shot to hit those things. It gets close combat. Um, it gets uh, helping hand, I believe. 
so like it has a lot of options right i think it's good um the poison typing is like a lot of things terra poison right so you can use that defensively or you can then you can also tear this out of its own weaknesses to ground until something like grass if you need it you have a lot of a lot a lot of options with this thing i think it's a good pokemon uh next up is going to be some of the grass types i don't think i had all these organized this way but i think i had a lot of them organized this way <laughs> so queenly majesty is another uh option for priority blocking um serena is something that is also really good in restrictors because it tends to do really well in Kyogre team to protect against like Rillaboom. This is a big, big Gen 8 thing. Um, but it gets taunt, it gets Troop Axel to hit like flying types that it normally couldn't hit with its own grass stab. It has U-turn for pivoting, it has power for a really strong grass stab. Um, it also gets other moves, it gets like helping hand. Um, does it, it gets taunt like I put in the front. Uh, it's both is um pretty good actually. 72 HP is not great, but you could just invest in it if you really need to. Um 120 attack is actually nothing to sneeze at because if you don't invest in it, you can still hit hard, right? With power up and triple axle. 98, 98 defenses are actually really good. You can wear this thing with like a like an AV. You can run a choice scarf. Um, I will say with the choice scarf, the speeds are a little bit strange. You might have to run, you have to consider whether you want to run like adamant, a uh, bulk boosting nature or jolly, but you have options. Um, I think Terra defensively is good, or you can use the Terra to boost one of its moves. Um, that's kind of your choice. But I think Serena is a really, really good option. And it has a neat shiny. Next up is going to be Sinistra. Um, Sinistra is one that I haven't seen people talking about much. Um, obviously it's been good before, but I think it can be really good in this format, right? Like, um, hospitality to give health. But like, even heat proof could be really good because this way, with heat proof, you can resist ground and also kind of pseudo resist like fire, right? And it gives you a good matchup into stuff like Groudon because now you can like survive the um those big flare blitz attacks depending on how you EV. Uh, and then you can like strength sap its attack down and get your health back. Unless it's clear, I mean, of course, then you're kind of cooked. But you can always like strength sap the gouging, right? The gouging never run clear, I mean, and they both can't run clear. I mean, um, rage powder to redirect moves, having trick room, uh, matcha gacha is just an awesome move that burns. Um, shadow ball because this thing has a special attack stat of 121. So, shadow ball from this will destroy like Lunala and Calyrex, uh, shadow, or at the very least, force from the Terra. Of course, if they have indeed, you have to worry about redirection. But if they're redirecting your Shadow Ball, then they can't stop your Trick Room if you're Trick Rooming, right? So you have options. Um, I'm not going to give you guys like a spread. I was just thinking of it in my head. My boy Mateen has an awesome spread for this, but I don't think he'd appreciate me putting it on um, YouTube. So I'm not going to do that. But it has very, very flexible bulk. 106 defense is great. 180 def special defense is something you can work with if you invest in it. Um, and its HP stat is not great. But again, if you invest in it, it can become really good. So I think that Sinister is going to have a really, really strong role. If you need a grass tap on your team, that is an Amoongus. Uh, <laughs> you can run Sinister for redirection, strength tap, um, and for a trick room. Jump Fluff um, is one that tends to do well in these kind of formats just because it gets enabled by the sun so well. Um, having Chlorophyll and Tailwind is just awesome because, like, yeah, it's not Prankster, but you're so fast anyway, and your speed stat is 110, so you're outspeeding most things. In Sun, you're outspeeding most opposing Tailwind Mods as it stands. So you'll get your Tailwind up, right? Um, Sleep Powder is kind of just annoying to play around. And so is Strength Sap. Like, fast Strength Saps are really, really hard to deal with because you're essentially, most of the time, pulling their attack stat down before they can hit you. And then if they, if they hit you, you can heal back up and pull it down again before they hit you again. And this is really, really annoying to deal with. Um, it also gets... Uh, what was I just thinking of? Oh, Pollen Puff. Gets fast Pollen Puffs. Um, so you can, like, preserve your health. Like... A lot of uh, restricted formats sometimes come down to protect the king. Pollen Puff is a great move to do that, right? You grind on someone's finally about to break through it and you just Pollen Puff it and it's back to like almost full. That's just really, really annoying to deal with. Um, it gets like Leech Storm, so if you need to do damage, that's fine. I don't think it gets like Taunt. Um, I guess I'll look through which other status moves because I didn't look through them much because I know in my head like Tailwind, Sleep Powder, Pollen Puff, and an attacking move is kind of just what you want. You have like Kai and Garbage Rage that use defense, but you're not going to ever play that. You have Cotton Sport to lower the speed, and you do have Encore. Encore is a good one. That's one I could, could include. So you have Encore for the fake out users. You can really punish like Incineroar's with that. Um, if they see this, they might just Flare Blitz you though, but then they also have to like, eat like a, if they don't click fake out, they have to eat a Precipice Blades, which they don't really want to do. So it, it it gives you uh pads to play around. Shout out to my boy Kage. He's a stone, he's a stone journeyman. Um, and I put this in here for him, <laughs> but I do think Stone Journey is actually really good, right? I think that the combination of having wide guard and power spot is really good, right? Because power spot means no matter how long it's on the field, it's always providing benefit because it's giving you a lot, your, your teammate, a life or a boost, right? So you can pair this thing with like a Cali shadow wide guard to protect it from other Cali shadows and just like click your move with a, a life or a boost. 
and like you can have a focus sash on it or you can have a focus sash on the cali shadow uh that way you can have the boosted damage without having to give up the um the health but i think you do need focus sash on this because this for death is just so bad so like special attacks you kind of send it to, to narnia <laughs> but and endeavor also with the the, the sash Gives it a really big damaging option because obviously it makes the um, opponent's um, HP match. So you get knocked down to one HP, then you can endeavor them. And then guess what? The next turn, your Cali Shadow is going to pick up that KO uh, and you're going to get a plus plus one. So I think that's uh, really, really good to have. You can have White Guard and Protect, to be honest, because again, you kind of just want to use this to enable the teammate. It doesn't really have to do damage. But if you get a flinch or two, hey, more power to it. Comfy is next up. Um, obviously you're not going to run Trick Room and Tailwind all. Well, maybe you will. You're not going to run Trick Room and Tailwind on most of these sets, but I just posted it because I wanted to show that it gets both options, right? So it can speed the battle up or it can slow it down, reverse the, reverse the dimensions. Floor healing is just kind of br a broken move. Heals the target by 50% of his max. So like from any range, right? So if your HP is 100 um, and you're currently at 80, it's going to bring you back to full. If your HP is 100 and you're currently at 50, it's going to bring you back to full. Right, it's going to give you 50 because it's always half of the max, which is kind of insane. And it's more in grassy terrain. Like, I don't know how much more, but it's definitely more. Um, and triage makes it so it has plus three priority. What that means is you can't even fake it out if it clicks uh, a healing move. So floor healing or giga drain or draining kiss or whatever it is for healing. If it clicks one of those moves, you can't fake it out. That's broken. A lot of people have been pairing this with, um, what's that thing called? Uh, Terrapagos said that for you as well, Kagia, because I don't want you complaining in my comments um, <laughs> for Terrapagos so that they can get the healing up. And they run like Clover Cloak on the Terrapagos. So you can't just, you basically just can't pick on anything. Um, and like I said, then they have the speed control action, whether it's Trick Room or Tail. A lot of it is Trick Room because they don't really want to run the speed in the Terrapagos. So, but yeah, this mine is really good. And it also has this like basic stuff like Taunt, right? And I'm not sure if it gets Helping Hand. I can't remember. It does get Helping Hand. So you have a lot of, a lot of room to operate with this Pokemon. Smeargle. Um, I didn't put anything on it because the reason it's here is because you can custom make your, your support. You can put any attack that you want in this thing, right? So if you want fake out and wide guard and spore and faint, you can do it, right? And it's low key with fake out and faint, <laughs> you can even run like technician, um, because they're lower than 30. So you can like boost them, but you also could just go for the Moody and try to get the speed boost and just let off spores. But yeah, like you can basically custom make your your set. So if you want helping hand, like if you just click the status button, like it gets every they put it in alphabetical order because it gets everything. Ally switch, Aurora Veil, Baneful Bunker, Spiky Shield, uh obviously not but Burning Bulwark, Chili Reception. If you want to pivot, like it just gives every move in the game so you can do whatever you want with this. So like if you can't figure out which one of these supports fits? Smeargle might be the mind for you because it just gets everything. Uh, next up are the electric types. So electric is going to be good because Maridon is good. Um, and having something that's immune to it, which is this is the Volt Absorb, is going to be really, really nice. Um, Fake Out is always going to be good as a support mind, but it also gets upper hand, right? And upper hand with this speed means like it's kind of really good until like Fake Out Incineroars uh, or just other Fake Out users like Rillaboom. Um, Actually, it's faster than Mian Shot, but you can't flinch Mian Shot, which is a bit annoying. That's that, yeah, inner focus is too strong. But you can hit stuff with like Nuzzle to get speed control. Revival Blessing is the big one, though, because like getting your restricted back while your opponent's one is like weakened or gone is such a game changer. So, this is a mind I think should be on people's like radar, radar, even if it's just in the back of their mind, because I think it's something that people are going to try. Raichu is very similar. The problem the difference is that you don't have to get hit with it. You just use the lightning rod to redirect the electric attack. Like this thing would just completely shut down um, the electric type users on the other side. I'd run it with something like an assault vest, kind of like how Wolf did. Um, it gets fake out in nuzzle as well, as well as upper hand, um, which are moves that I think will all be really good for it. I think with these three, um, or like maybe drop one for maybe like Volt Switch, if you want to pivot, it's fine. It gets Endeavor back this gen though. So, like, even if you don't have, like, damage, like, say you don't have Volt Switch and you go back to, like, upper hand for whatever reason, you can use um, Endeavor. And all these moves do damage, so they're not blocked by the Assault Vest. I think that's really awesome. But Endeavor's the big one because Raichu, his bulk is not, like, great by, by any means, but with, like, the special, the, with the Assault Vest, you get, like, special bulk. 
um, and you can even brought down really low. And it's with this HP stack not being high, you can endeavor stuff down to like really, really low numbers. So I think that's really good. Another one from a boycott. Um, I do think a Lucky is a good Pokemon in restricted formats. I think it's like a okay Pokemon and other ones too. We give it a lot of like flack, but I think it's better in this just because it's fast and everything. Um, I don't, a lot of things aren't going to be faster than a Lucky. Um, people are kind of discovering that like the, the iron bundle is not like super duper duper real. Um, and with all the Y guard you have on your team, iron bundle is just not really that much of a threat for a Lucky at this time because of the ability to block IC win. That was kind of the main problem, right? That speed booster bundle and speed of flutter would IC wind it down. So even though it's faster than everything, it would just get mar minus by one and then just blown up by the teammate. But now with all the Y guard, you can like use the Y guard, use your own electric web, slow them down. And then you can like Volt or you can use it and Volt switch out to a teammate. I even think extreme speed is a good move, not for like damage, for, but for picking off all the focus statues you're going to run into or just picking off like a really low, low health mines. Um, it also gets like light screen and reflect. So I think that's something you can do as well. Uh, if you want to have it be your screen setter. Um, it, and like it does respectable damage too with the transistor, right? And like if you have an electric terrain as well, I think Alecky has a place. Um, and then like this, I know people run this as like a meme, but like there are times where like you're a Lecky just kind of on the field. If it's doing nothing, um, just blow it up. Especially if they have like a ground type and you are going to die anyway, you don't want to switch in. Just blow it up and get it off the field and get as much damage as you can. Um, I think that's a, a viable actual option. So next up is going to be Valiant. Um, the reason Valiant is here, so the two Paradox are both here. Uh, the reason Valiant here is here is because it has a number of options, Wide Guard being the most important one, but it gets Wide Guard and Icy Wind, and I don't know if there's any other Pokemon that gets both of those. Um, I actually don't know if it gets, there's another Pokemon that gets both of those. Speaking of Wide Guard and Speed Control, I got to add something to this list that I um, definitely forgot to put on here. But Wide Guard and Icy Wind are the big ones. Um, taunt, Coaching are some other options. Uh, does the thing get trick room? It gets trick, but not trick room. Okay. But yeah, why well, got an icy one of the big ones and then like coaching and then whatever else, but protecting the teammates, um, enabling the teammates speed or their defenses and their attacks is kind of like the most important things that it gets. And then like you can run it on your electric terrain team to get the speed boost to icy win, like the opposing Pokemon that are speed tying your Maridon. You can outspeed them and then slow them down. And then boom, now you're summoning your Maridon has the speed advantage. And they can do what it wants to do. Right. Um, Destiny Bond is actually pretty fun. And because you can, <laughs> you can like block stuff. Oh, in prison is important. That's the one I, that's the one I was uh, forgetting. So in prison, I see when wide guard is actually kind of, or in prison, wide guard is kind of strong. So that's something to consider. Jugulus, it's big niche is kind of just tailwind and snarl in my opinion. Um, electric terrain boosted tailwinds that once again, enable your Maridon in terrain. And then snarl to protect it from like big damage from the opponents like flutter main or, uh, or Maridon. Or just any other special attacker that it might be there like even like um like kyogre uh is a thing like i said so tailwind and snarl gives you a good matchup into that stuff and then you can run like just random like air slash because this covers the grass types that your dragon your electric dragon can't hit so i think this is a pokemon that's going to be really good as well something you can add to your teams to help patch up some matchups or add some speed control wheezing was the last one i gotta add something else um wheezing is just good because a lot of these pokemon just rely on their abilities um, obviously Weezing doesn't stop as one, uh, which is the ability that Calyrex gets. So the chilling nay, the grim nay slash, um, unnervability is not affected by the neutralizing gas. So that's something to consider. However, um, the proto dragons, electric terrain is blocked by this. Um, Oricon compulse is blocked by this, blocked by this. Drought is blocked by this. Drizzle is blocked by this. Uh, let me see who else has really busted abilities and restricted. I think. Regenerator still works on Ho Oh. Oh, telepathy on like Dialga gets blocked by this. Like, there's a lot of options. So, I think Weezing is just a general good bomb. And obviously, you just like Taunt and Wisp, which are kind of its most important ones. Like, you figure out what you want to do with the other two sides, probably a poison move or something else. Um, doesn't like help me hand. Okay. But yeah, Taunt and Wisp are the big ones. So, I think those are. Does it get like Haze? It doesn't get Haze and it gets Clear Smog. A lot of things tend to boost up. This might be, might be good. So, go ahead and that. When I was missing, um, it's not like a, a sleeper pick, it's just Pelipper. Just Pelipper. I'm forgetting Pelipper. Having your own weather, like how having your own terrain with the first couple months was really good. Having your own weather is going to be really good as well. Um, and Pelipper is just a really like physically bulky weather setter. Um, not to mention it also gets speed control and it also gets wide guard. 
So like because it gives you like multiple things at once, drizzle and why guy down. I'm just, uh, actually got reminded of this when I was watching Jody's stream. Um, well, he feels like wide gu- uh, Pelipper is the best wide gutter in the format. Um, I think it might be Man Shot or this, to be honest, but it's definitely one of those two. But having wide guard tailwind and also setting up the weather, I think is really nice. So yeah, let me know what Pokemon I may have missed. What Pokemon do you agree with or disagree with for the list? Which Pokemon will find a support role in Reg G? Thank you guys for being here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.